I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. It's a special tool to remove vacuum tubes in the TX and AT class. KSCUM's phone system is now out of order. Not much I can do with a burned out vacuum tube. Here goes nothing. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. Not long now. I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. If I go to sleep, I'll never finish my to-do list. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We send the package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. ¿Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. Here's your package, boo. Thank you. Oh, this is just great. Is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act, that's the worst disguise I've ever seen. Then I guess you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Touché. What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You first. Okay. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. My father was a security guard there. How old were you? 
I was only five. I'm here to try and clear his name and prove it was Chuck's fault. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Well... I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty important. Sounds like we both need to get into the Pillow Factory. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Sir, I have a package of boo for you. Yes! It's my fa- It's my father's old pocket watch. But it's broken. And only a professional will be able to fix it. KSCUM's phone system is now rebooting. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is, name the American who won four gold medals at the 1984 Olympics. That's correct. Here's your second question. Where were the much boycotted 1980 Summer Olympic Games held? You got it right! And your final question. Finish this popular political ad slogan. Where's the blank? You got it! Let's see how you did. You got three out of three. A perfect score! You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Uh, my name. Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. 
How may I be a boo of service? There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the Case Gum Abu Trivia Contest. What is your name, Abu, please? Ah, yes, here's your name, Abu, on the list. How else may I be a boo of service? Hello, Sheriff. Why are you moonlighting as the hotel manager? Oh, Abu, uh, I'm not the sheriff, I'm the hotel manager. Uh, the sheriff says that annoying Areno thing all the time. You'll never hear me doing that, Abu. Sure. Whatever. I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. The doors are closed. It's a special tool to remove vacuum tubes in the... <laughs> Thanks. Great. More... Thanks a lot. None shall pass. Oh, and welcome to the. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Yeah, prosper. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, it's you. Beep off. I'm not cosplaying. Go away. I quit, so I don't need to deal with you anymore. Pew, pew, pew. Do you need some cosplay advice? Beep off. Is this what you have to do to make money these days? Go away. I quit, so I don't need to deal with you anymore. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. How much are the hint guides? The Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide is priceless. Just sell your soul and I'll give one to you. If I thought selling my soul could solve the problem, I would have done it a long time ago. It even contains a secret word that will crash your computer due to a bug in the code not caught by the testers. Big deal. How about a trade for the stupid hint guide? What do you have to trade? A first edition Ransom comic book? Wow! A first edition Ransom the Clown comic? After his total meltdown, that's become a collector's item! You almost look like him, except your costume is pretty crappy. I'll trade you the priceless Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide for it. What a f rip off. Pew, pew, pew. Thank you. 
I don't need any more hints. Do you? I don't want to talk to him. Great. More? Oh, I love carrying stuff. I'm trying not to be convinced into buying any more figurines. Starships in bottles, handmade. How do you make the starship so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? They're up in my room, but I can't even leave this table to get some dinner. Can I mind your stand while you get me your tools? You'd need to know a lot about Star Trek to be able to man my booth. Did you know that on Impulse Drive, it would take 400,000 years for the Enterprise to cross the galaxy? Actually, I do. Or that the Galaxy-class Enterprise is 353.5 meters longer than the Constitution-class Enterprise. Yes, I know. Well, I'm sure there is a lot more you don't know. So you see, it's perfectly obvious that I can't possibly leave my stand to an ignoramus like you. But if you got me dinner, then maybe I could do something for you. What do you want in exchange for your tools? Well, I'm really craving a hamburger. How about a hot dog? No, definitely not. A hamburger is what I need. Get me a hamburger and I'll see what I can do for you. Bye. You will not find that. Thanks a lot. Pew, pew, pew. Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm, mm, delicious. Um, I, uh, 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 I have to go to my room. That would be stealing. Well, that and I don't need more things to carry. That would be stealing. Well, that and I don't need more things to carry around. I feel like this spot cosplayer is I feel like this spot cosplayer is ahead of our time. Ugh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. Ugh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. What with him being famous and all. But we're trying to get into character for the look-alike contest. Yeah, so get out of here. <laughs> Good one, Cory. For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown. Hmm. 
Shut up in there. No one will ever need more than... I need my joke book in perfect condition before I enter the contest. He's Cory! And? He's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the look-alike contest. Yeah, so? Get out of here! Huh? <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! Amateurs. Wow! No need to start swearing. And get a better costume! It's like you're not even trying! Ooh, burn! It's my joke book, but there's one page missing. Where the f is it? I can't reach that. Dolores, it's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. <laughs>